with an FCTV with Jesus Cordon ahead of the season opener against Bournemouth on Sunday. Jesus, how much are you looking forward to getting going? Yeah, uh, really looking forward to it. Obviously, a bit frustrated from last week, uh, not being able to play because um, of Southampton. But yeah, we're looking really looking forward to it. We really want to, to start and have a, a good first game. Uh, as I said, a bit frustrated that last week we couldn't play. So I think the girls got really, really looking forward for this one because yeah, we're missing one already and, and we were waiting for it. So it will be good. How frustrating was that last week? Obviously, you prepare all pre-season ahead of that 18th of August date that it was, and then it gets cancelled midweek. How frustrating is that? Yeah, it, it is frustrating, but uh, you know, uh, it's not in our control. Unfortunately, and some things happens to Southampton that from here I wish them all the best for the future as well. I, I know they are rebuilding with new people in charge, and hopefully they, they manage to to make a good rebuild, but you know, it's, it's not in our control. So obviously we prepared to play, we were preparing the game. At the end we couldn't do it. Uh, well, yeah, frustrated, but we keep going. Looking at Bournemouth on Sunday, obviously hotly tipped to be league leaders this season. How do you assess them as opponents? Obviously, yeah, I think they're clearly, we all know they're clearly favorites to, to get promoted. I think it's a team built for that. Um, so, yeah, I, I expect them to be one of the strongest teams in the league. I think it's going to be a really, really intense game, but I think we need to try to play our game and go and be brave that is where we are. And, yeah, just uh, give them a good game. I'm, I'm sure we have our chances, and if we, we do our jobs and we do what we have to do, I'm, I'm sure we are going to have the opportunity to, to come back with three points. It's the first away trip and there are some long trips and I know <laughs> obviously it's a, it's a change for the club to be in the South West uh, League. How are you approaching that? Is, does that affect anything at all? Uh, well, I mean, this one is not even one of the, the longest ones. It's a couple of hours, so it's not too bad. Also, the girls are, you know, are kind of happy with that in the sense that, well, we, we, we're going to get on the coach all together. Uh, and it's going to be a bit of team bonding as well, and, and it's something that I think they are going to enjoy too. Um, but yeah, definitely when we have some other games a bit further away, like Bristol or Bridgewater, or I don't know, a few, a few of them, Cainsham, that they are really far away. Well, yeah, it's a bit different. We are going to spend the whole Sunday pretty much traveling, but <laughs> that has to give us another reason as well to, to go even looking more for, for the three points because, you know, no one wants to spend the whole Sunday traveling and then come back with nothing. So it could be another reason to get us Absolutely. up for it. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at the squad, um, you've made quite a few signings now. There's been announcements all the time yeah. on socials. <laughs> Are you happy with where the squad is at heading into the team? Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, obviously, we, got, we lost some players from last season and we, we have to replace them. I think we got the right people in. I think we got some people with some experience like Danny or Holly people a bit younger like Amelia or, or Isi or Jess, but I think they are, they're all good. Uh, they keep the standards of the team really high and yeah, they are going to give us a lot of things. So now we're happy with the squad. And yeah. looking at availability into Sunday, is there anyone that might be missing? Uh, well, it will be a couple missing and another couple that we are in there working with, the, with Macy and the physios uh, to see how they're going to be. But now nah, we'll, we'll put the strong team anyway on the pitch for sure.